Hi, this is Joe again with another review. I'm going to say this video, I'm going to be discussing the 1952 comedy, Monkey Business, starring Cary Grant, Ginger Rogers, and Marilyn Monroe. Of course, this is one of the early roles of the Marilyn Monroe has had, uh, and she has a, a slightly bigger role than the previous movie, Marilyn Monroe films have been currently reviewing. And But I want to get into that in a minute. The main, the main two characters in this film are Ginger Rogers and Cary Grant. Now, Cary Grant, in the movie Monkey Business, Cary Grant plays a uh, scientist. I was trying to come up with a formula to de delay or maybe try to reverse the aging process. To make people look younger, younger and stuff. <clears throat> and Ginger Rogers plays his wife. And Marilyn Monroe plays the secretary in the in this laboratory. She, she's just a secretary. And and of course, there's one scene where, where she is in a one-piece swimsuit in this film. She's not, not in a bikini, which is unfortunate for everybody. But but she's in a, a one-piece swimsuit in a scene that Mary described later on. Well, when Cary Grant is struggling with, with this formula, he also work, works with monkeys are trained, or, or should I say chimpanzees, not monkeys, uh, trained to do, do the things on, on chimpanzees, you know, experiment on them, and then see how it works on them, and then start with the human trials. Well, during the night, one of the, one of the chimpanzees gets out of his cage, I think it was a her, a, a, a female chimpanzee, gets out of her cage, and starts fooling around with some of the chemicals, because I think she, the, the, the chip is trying to imitate what Cary Grant and the other scientists were doing and it's mixing up a whole bunch of different chemicals and stuff and actually came, came, came up with a formula that makes you act like you're a teenager and that's what happened with Cary Grant uh, he drinks this stuff down didn't know that there was with the monkey playing, playing around with the, with the uh, chemicals there in the lab so he thinks it's his own formula, and that's something that the monkey was playing around with. So anyway, he he regains his vision because throughout most of his movie, he's wearing glasses, and and he's still wearing glasses. He acts like a teenager. He actually takes Marilyn Monroe out to the pool, and that's the scene where it comes up with Marilyn Monroe wearing his one-piece swimsuit, and they and he and Gary and Gary Grant is like flips off the high dive. And the high, the highest diving board, and you know, at the local public pool and stuff, and he's driving like crazy. And all of a, and all of a sudden, within maybe two hours or so, the formula stops working, and you know, now he can't see anymore because that's he's old. You know, he's older, loses his vision. So Marilyn Monroe has to take over. Marilyn had to take take over the uh, driver of the car and drive back to the uh, lab. And then they try to recreate the cre recreate what he did, and so forth. And then and then he and then Cary Grant tries on Ginger Rogers, and she goes berserk. I mean, she was it was she was more over the top than Cary Grant was. You know, early in the you know, when he first experimented on himself, Ginger Rogers was absolutely crazy. I mean, this was really the first movie I ever saw Ginger Rogers in. I know Ginger Rogers did all those musicals with Fred Astaire, all those dancing sequences. But but, but this one, she was, it was really an over-the-top performance from Ginger Rogers. She usually plays a little more sophisticated you know, roles, especially those musicals she did with Fred Astaire. So they're more sophisticated in those things. But but this film, it was really an over-the-top physical comedy Type thing thing that she was doing. She she was oh you know she and there's also there's one point where Cary Grant uh, also drinks the formula, which, which I should mention that the formula that the monkeys came with all so for some reason it got into the water cooler and so Ginger Rogers used the water from the water cooler to make coffee and the two of them take one cup of coffee after the other and so that so this stuff lasted like almost an entire day. And, and so Ginger Rogers was really going, cr you know, crazy on this stuff. And so, so, so did Cary Grant. And Cary Grant has, well, in a scene, it would be politically incorrect 
you know, in, you know, like, was like 70 years later, as this movie came, because the movie came out in 1952, and now we're in 2021, as I'm doing this movie, as I'm doing this review, and one scene we can say is totally politically incorrect, because Cary Grant is playing with a bunch of neighborhood kids, and they're playing like cowboys and Indians or something, and and Cary Grant puts war paint, has war paint all over his face, like it was uh, an American Indian, uh, something like that, or it'd be, I mean, this movie came out today, 2021, instead of in the more simpler time in 1952, uh, it would totally be, you know, you know, part of the cancel culture. The people would try to cancel this, cancel this movie because Kenny Grant has uh, war paint all over his face. Well, the two of them, was, and, and, and then, of course, the, the formula eventually wears off, and there's this crazy, silly subplot where, where a neighbor, oh, Ginger, uh, Kevin Grant, Ginger Rogers' neighbor next door was babysitting, and the baby gets out, and for some reason, the formula wears off on Ginger Rogers uh, first, and she re and she believes that the baby was was a, was Kevin Grant's character, and that or that she he he derailed all the way down to a, to a baby, which was, you know, we all know that that, that didn't really didn't happen in this film. But you know, it it was implied, and so it really it really goes crazy, and and then, and then of course, the scientists that Cary Grant works for, the higher ups in the, in this um, in this lab laboratory, they all drink wa uh, coffee from water used from the, from this water cooler, and they all go digress into being acting like teenagers. And they all go crazy, you know, pretty much. Or they start acting like teenagers, crazy teenagers in this lab. And then they figure out where the formula was in, and they have a little bit of the water left, and now they could make up their formula now. And you figure out what exactly what the what the formula really was, and what ingredients. And they also figured out that the monkeys was the one who. Uh, or the chimpanzee, I should say, was the one who actually made up this formula and trying to reverse what the monkey did. I mean, trying to figure out what chemicals the monkey used before. Uh, and uh, long story short, of course, Kevin Grant gets the promotion. Now he's going to make more money, and now he's, he's a successful uh, uh, scientist now, and everything is pretty much back to normal in his, in his life at this point. And then, of course, Kerry Gray gets the another idea to do another formula. And of course, Andrew Rogers says, no, 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 no. And then after what happened, you know, that, that type of thing. Uh, but but this is like really a harmless, silly, over-the-top, 1950s style comedy. And that's what it is. If you're going to see like a harmless, read, it's, not, it's, not, it's one of those comedies, even in the 1950s, where, where, you, ha where, you, where you put your misbelief uh, uh, on the shelf somewhere, and and just sink in, and just and just enjoy a silly comedy, which back in the nineteen fifties was definitely they were definitely guilty of with these with these silly comedies, and that thing is like a god awful movie. And it's just an over the top silly, uh, you know, loud physical comedy in this film, and it's really over the top silliness. So that's a review of the movie Monkey Business. Please click on the video, please rate it, please subscribe to my channel, please forward this video on your Facebook pages. And you can take out all my reviews and on my YouTube channel, at rallyc.com, it's on WDY, and .com. it's a homepage, and rally reviewer, Chris Lee Moore, and please check out all of his videos on his website. Thanks for watching, catch you next time.